guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtech PPPoE. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it first so that you can fully benefit and understand this video content. I will put the link in the description box below. In this video, I will show you now how to prevent DHCP rogue in your PPPoE network. What is this DHCP rogue? A rogue DHCP server is a DHCP server on a network that is not managed by network administrators. It is a network equipment like a modem or router that a user has connected to the network either unknowingly or with the intent to utilize it for network assaults. I have here a topology. As you can see, there is a router in the client side and the UTP cable is attached to the router's LAN port. Instead, it, that, instead that it will be attached in the one port, like this one. This is where the rogue DCP takes place if the client interchangeably plug the UTP cable to LAN port instead to the one port. So <clears throat> take note that before we deploy the router to the client side, we configure the PPPoE credentials in it so that when we deployed it, it is just plug and play and can connect to the internet immediately. But if the client do a factory reset uh, on the router, uh, <clears throat> by default, the one setting of that router is DCP, not PPPoE. So if this is not the case, the other client's router, this one, We'll get the DHCP IP address of that DHCP rogue router. There are times that your client accidentally plug the UTP cable interchangeably. So in times like this, we as network administrators must configure our network not to be affected by this. This is where this video comes in. I will teach you guys how to prevent DHCP rogue. So, <clears throat> I will do actual demonstration first on this topology. So take note that the rogue DHCP address is uh, 192.168.99.0. So if we access the, this router and do DHCP configuration in the one setting, it will get an IP address coming from the DHCP rogue router. So let's get started with the demonstration of this one. So I'll access the this router admin admin So let's go to a network, then one setting. So if we do factor reset of this one, this router, the default configuration of the one setting is DCP. So when we do DCP, it will get an IP address coming from the DCP rogue router. All right, so as you can see, it has an IP address. So. We will, we will not uh, we will do the, config, the configuration to prevent this from happening. So Microtech has a feature called DHCP snooping. We will enable this feature in our core switch. This one. We will enable the we will enable the DHCP snooping feature of our core switch. So we will access our core switch. <clears throat> right, so we'll go to bridge, then in that bridge, 
we have uh, four ports. So in, in the bridge, you will double click this one, then click DHCP snooping and click add DHCP option it ito. Apply and OK. So that's it. So we will we will do the testing again. We will access the we will access this router. We will restart this router. Right, we're now done with the restarting of the TP Link router. So we will go to network in one. So as you can see, it's DCP. So it's it, it is not getting an IP because we already configured DCP snooping in our core switch. So let's try to configure the PPPoE. Save. Right, so as you can see, it uh, we dial successfully and get an IP address coming from our core router. So we will test if we have an internet. Right, we have an internet. We will do speed test. Alright, we have an internet. Let's try to do DCP again to make sure if the router cannot get an IP address from the DCP room. So let's go to network, then one. Let's change this one to dynamic IP, then save. All right, so as you can see, it's always connecting. It cannot get an IP address because we already blocked it using the DCP snooping feature in our core switch. All right, so this is it, guys, on how to block and prevent DCP rogue. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.